Hey, Jesus Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool image right here. And basically what this is, is a gaming chair. So this is what the package looks like when you guys first get it. Let me actually open it up to show you guys what the inside looks like first. So obviously when you guys do open a package, you do want to be careful, especially if you guys use a sharp object like this one. And they do tell you guys here as well. But once you guys open up, here is basically what the inside looks like. So they do provide guys all different parts. And they do provide guys instruction manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. So let's take everything out first. All right, so once you guys take everything out, here is basically everything that's included in the package. But now let's take a look at the instruction manual to see how to set it up. So it looks like the first thing we want to do is to set up the bottom of the feet first. So the way how to design the feet often, you do have to actually put the legs together, which is pretty unique. For me, I prefer the ones where actually they're all preset, so that way you guys don't have to do this. Because this is basically another step that you have to do. So right here we got the legs, so let's take this out and put it on. In order for you guys to put it together, you do need to actually get the screws, which is inside right here. So let's take it out. So here we have the wheels. Here we have the gas lift. And then right here we have all different parts in terms of screw option and the tools. So it looks like the screw that we'll be using is Z2. So let's take that out with the two as well. So I just want to insert it in. But you probably want to take off this cover right here in the middle first and put this back on later. So I'm going to put it inside. So in the bottom, they do have two screws for each part for you guys to screw it in. So I'm actually do one of them to show you guys what she looks like first. All right, so once you guys do that, you guys don't do the same thing for all of them. So once you guys finish this part, you guys can put that on the cover, which is right here. So this is basically what the cover looks like when you guys do put that on. And then here is basically what the bottom part looks like once you guys do put on the screws and the legs. So what I'm gonna do now is put on all the wheels first. So all you need to do is just push it in. So once you guys put on the wheels, here is basically what the part looks like. So next thing I wanna do is to put on the gas lift right here, which is this part right here. So all you need to do is just put it on top. And then once you guys do that, you can put this on one side for now. So the next step is for you guys to set up the seat option right here. So then put it on top right here. So that way it won't get dirty. And you guys wanna take out the lever, which is this part right here, to put it onto the bottom. So when you guys set the bottom part right here, you guys wanna make sure the side to say front is facing front right here. But let me screw this on first and then we'll show you guys what she looks like. So the screw that we'll be using for this one is Z7. So there should be four of them, one for each corner. So once you guys screw in the bottom, here is basically what the bottom part looks like. So you see right here, it does show you guys front and right here as well. And then right here, we do have the resistance option for you guys to adjust it if you guys do need to. And then right here, we do have the lever option for you guys to lift it up and lift it down, which I'll show you guys in a second. But what I'm going to do right now is to put this onto the feet or the wheels option. And then once you guys do that, you guys can screw it on the side right here. So let's go attach it together first. So I'm going to put it in the bottom right here. Make sure it goes all the way in. Once it goes all the way in, now you can put on the armrest option. So once you guys take out the armrest option, the way how you know which side to put it on, this side is the inside and this is the outside. So for the one that I have right here in my hand, this will be the left side and this one will be the right. So let's put on the right one first. And for the screw that we'll be using is Z16. And I love the fact of how they do have the built-in holes right here for you guys to actually set up really easy. But let's screw this on first. So you guys wanna make sure both of the screws go inside first before you guys do tighten up. And you probably don't want to make it too tight yet, so that way you can screw on the back part as well. Let's put on the other side first. All right, so that should be good for now as well. So what we want to do now is to put on the back part, and then once you guys put it on, then you guys can tighten up the other screws. And the same thing for right here when you guys do screw it in. You guys want to make sure both sides goes in first before you guys tighten up. Otherwise, it'll be hard for you guys to actually screw both sides in. All right, so now that we got all the screws in, now you can tighten it up. All right, so once you guys finish screwing in, the next thing I want to do is actually put on the covers if you guys do want to, which are basically right here. But for this test, we're not gonna put it on, but you do have the option available if you guys do want to. And right here, I mean, see they do probably got spare parts. But once you guys finish setting up, the next thing I'm gonna do is to put on the pillows. So let's put on the lumbar support pillow first. So for the lumbar support pillow, it's basically like a clip option. So you basically wanna clip it in the bottom right here, into the back. 
And basically, I'm to put this on top. And I just want to clip it in the back part here. Same thing for the other one. So just like that. And then here is basically what the lumbar support looks like when you guys do put it on. And now the last thing for you to put on is the pillow for the deck. And the way how you put on the pillow is actually very simple. All you need to do is just strap it on. So just like this. And it's all set. So once you guys fully set the product, here is basically what the product looks like. So here is basically what the product looks like from the front. Here is the side. Here is the back. And here is the other side. And the whole setup process took me roughly around like 30 minutes or a little bit over 30 minutes to actually fully set it up. Pretty much what took me the longest is the screw option and also for the feet. I feel like for the leg or the feet option, if it was fully assembled already, like a lot of other office chair or gaming chair, that'd be much more helpful and it won't take as long. And if you guys notice for the one that we got right here is a white color, they do have this available in many other colors as well. So you definitely want to do your own research to see which one you prefer. And in terms of the wheel that's on here, it's pretty quiet. It's not too loud if it's in here. And obviously you do have the option to spin it 360 if you guys want to as well. So just like that. And when you guys feel the material or the cushion that's on here, it actually feels pretty nice. Same thing for the armrest here as well. But I feel like for the armrest right here, it doesn't have a lot of cushion. So if you guys want to add your own cushion on the side, you do have the option available. But I do love the fact that how it does have like this wing design right here and here, and also for the bottom part as well. But now I'm gonna sit down on here to show you guys what the product looks like and describe you guys how it feels. So if I sit down, when you guys do sit down on here, it actually feels pretty comfortable. There's definitely enough cushion on here to give you guys that comfort and support for your neck, your back, and also for the bottom part right here and your arm as well, which is pretty nice. And the way how they design this chair, it does give you guys a rocking option. So if you guys want to rock it, you definitely have the option available. If you guys want to lock the rocking position, you basically want to push this in and that will lock it in. So if you guys try to rock again, we can't do it anymore. And for the lever option, it does give you guys an option to raise it up and raise it down. So if you guys try it out, that is basically how high it can go. But if you guys pull again, it brings it down and this is how low it can go. And like I mentioned earlier, for the bottom part, they do have a resistant option for you to adjust the resistance on here if you guys do need to. But that is basically everything that's on the bar right here. Now to go unboxing and test the product, now to answer the question of whether or not that's worth it or not. So for this chair, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality gaming chair, where you can also use it as an office chair as well, that basically give you guys all the same features and specs that's on here, then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously for those guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, that basically don't buy one and save your money for something else actually you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.